very warm welcome to the channel if it is the first time here my name is yummy cash let me show you mama agatha's fried egg sauce recipe super easy to make in just five minutes and tastes absolutely good and amazing you are going to love it to start with in a bowl break the quantity of eggs you want to use the larger your family, the more you use eggs. In my case, I am using eight eggs. But if you are a family of, let's say, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ha, then you need a crate of eggs. Also, see to it that you are using very good eggs. To know your eggs are good, you can conduct the float test method. Ever since I got to know of this fried egg sauce, it has been my staple way of making fried egg stew or egg sauce. Now when you're done with the breaking of eggs, add in any vegetables of your choice. I first add in some sliced onions, some chopped carrots, tomatoes, and then I'll follow it up with some tuna. I have drained all the water from the tuna. So when you're making yours and you're going to use tuna, Try as much as possible to drain most of the water out from it. And I'm using just half of the whole thing. After that, I'm adding in some paprika. I'm using the red, yellow, and green. And I added in some chopped spring onions. A little pepper goes in too. But it is totally optional. Now, come to think of it, who doesn't like pepper? Ha! <laughs> egg stew or egg sauce with no pepper mm, i don't think so now i add in a little bit of my spice make some garlic powder oh my god i love garlic powder in my recipes i add in a little bit of salt because the spice mix contains you know a little bit of salt or a little bit of seasoning powder so you can actually add in any seasoning of your choice any spices of your choice but if you want to know how i made the spice mix then please i'll leave a link down in the description when you're done watching this video then you go and watch that too in a pan i heat some generous amounts of oil and then gently pour in the egg and vegetables at this point you don't want your flame or your fire to be very high it should be on a low heat and then you cover it for about five minutes so after some minutes now this is how it is looking like i will give it some gentle stir and once again i'm going to cover it for additional five minutes on a very low heat all right yummies this is about after 10 minutes and you see it's looking beautiful now i did not say this you add the salt according to your taste okay and make sure please i am begging you do not add a lot of salt to it now I cover it again for additional three to five minutes once again and at this point i'm going to stir it gently and welcome you back once again to the channel if you are not yet subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button like this video and do not forget to share it out to your friends and your family so as i said you stir it gently making sure that you do not over break or over tear the egg i cover it once again and after two to three minutes my fried egg stew or fried egg sauce is ready tastes absolutely good and within few minutes you are done with your fried egg stew super easy right enjoy with your yam plantain potato whatever i hope you do love this video and also love this recipe Thank you, Mama Agatha, and rest in peace. I hope to see you again next time for another great recipe. Until then, always remember to do everything in love. And whenever you think food, do not forget to thank Yummy Cash. Choose.